People living with diabetes are at a higher risk of complications and death compared to the general population when it comes to contracting different vaccine preventable illnesses. Routine vaccination provides the best protection for people with diabetes to prevent certain conditions and is therefore a very important practice. There are several vaccines that people with diabetes should be sure to get. The pneumococcal vaccines. These prevent infections like pneumonia that are caused by a specific type of bacteria called pneumococcus. There are some age and health history considerations that can guide the recommendations around vaccine type and schedule. So be sure to ask your healthcare provider or pharmacist about what is best for you. The influenza vaccine. This should be acquired annually for protection against strains that are likely to be prevalent in the current flu season. The COVID-19 vaccine. Adults living with diabetes are at a greater risk of developing serious symptoms and problems if they contract COVID-19 and are almost three times more likely to die in hospital than those without diabetes. The COVID-19 vaccine can protect against serious illness and complications. It is important for people with diabetes to be vaccinated according to the COVID-19 vaccine schedule and follow provincial guidelines regarding boosters. The COVID-19 vaccine doesn't provide protection against influenza. Because each vaccine targets different viruses, it is recommended that people are vaccinated against both in order to gain safe and effective protection. Adults with type 1 and type 2 diabetes are at a higher risk of hepatitis B infection and may have lower immunity to the herpes zoster virus, which causes shingles, compared to individuals without diabetes. There are very effective vaccines available for both hepatitis B and herpes zoster. People with diabetes are recommended to talk to their healthcare team to see if these vaccines would be beneficial to them. Finally, people with diabetes should also receive routine vaccinations as recommended for the general population in keeping with the National Advisory Committee on Immunization Guidelines, like for tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, for example. Most vaccines are well tolerated with minimal short-term side effects. Remember, vaccines are one of the safest options to protect against the risk of serious illness for people with diabetes. For more information, you can visit the Health Canada, Immunize Canada, or the National Advisory Committee on Immunization websites, or speak with a registered healthcare professional. The influenza vaccine is formulated each year to cover strains of the virus that are likely to be prevalent in the upcoming flu season. Due to the changing strains, the influenza vaccine should be administered annually to provide the best protection. Individuals over 65 years of age are encouraged to get the high dose vaccine. Most individuals require just one dose of the vaccine. The influenza vaccine is available at many different sites, including, but not limited to, your doctor's office or your local pharmacy. There are many things that can be done to protect yourself against cold and flu. Avoid close contact with anyone who may be sick, and if you are sick, then stay at home to prevent the spread. Hand hygiene is also very important to remove any germs that may be present. Use soap and water to wash your hands for 20 seconds. If this is unavailable, an alternative can be an alcohol-based sanitizer. Be sure to clean surfaces that you may be in contact with as well to prevent the spread of germs. You should avoid touching your eyes, mouth, and nose as germs can enter the body in these ways. When you are sick, it is very important that you monitor your diabetes and blood sugars. Try to continue to eat healthy meals and snacks and be sure to keep hydrated by drinking fluids. When you are sick, hormones that are released to fight the illness may cause an increase in your blood sugar levels. It's a good idea to check your blood sugars more often and ensure you are staying within your glucose targets. 
If you need to take any cold or flu medication, be sure to consult a healthcare professional to get the most appropriate recommendation. Your medication or insulin doses may need to be adjusted during this time. So speak with your diabetes care team or pharmacist to make these changes if required. For more information on how to manage acute illness, please check out the Diabetes Canada resources on diabetes care guidance and sick day management available in the YouTube video description.